Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I'll show you which are the best live streaming apps out there for YouTubers and non-YouTubers. As always, no bullshit, let's go. So I agree, 2020 doesn't have so many good things to talk about. Pretty much everything as we know are lying low and waiting for a good time to sprout back. But there's one thing that has seen a lot of activity. YouTubing, blogging, and all of the ways to make a living online. I've been doing it for so long that I feel happy to be helping folks like you who wants to start a blog or start a YouTube channel. And one such activity, if I may call it, that has gotten a lot of attention lately is live streaming. I'm sure you've seen live streams on Facebook or on Insta. Celebrities and politicians come online, talk to their fans, interact, answer the comments, etc. It's so much fun, but that's not just it. There are hardcore streaming options like live game streaming, event streaming, and even live concert and conference streams these days, thanks to the pandemic. So which are the best live streaming tools out there? Let's take a look. So number one on my list is Restream. Restream lets you stream to more than 30 social platforms at the same time. Most of us have personal Facebook profiles and multiple business pages, right? With Restream, you can push the same stream to all your pages, profiles, and even other platforms. Restream also lets you customize your streams with things like branding elements, your logo, and things like that. It also has the ability to have multiple people on screen at once. In my experience, this is the best live streaming app out there. It's available for desktop, iOS, and Android. This app's basic features are totally free, so try it out. The link is in the description. Second best live streaming app is StreamYard. This is a desktop-only streaming software that does some very interesting things. The first thing you will notice about StreamYard is that it's super easy to use and get used to. And this app is great for folks who wants to do multiple guest interviews or debates and such events on live stream, you know, involving more than one person. It lets you share your screen, add custom graphics like your company logo or call to action and things like that. And just like other apps, it also lets you live stream directly to social media platforms like YouTube, Facebook and LinkedIn. It's available as an online app, so you don't need to download anything, but you need to be on a desktop to make it work. It offers the basic version for free. Try it out, the link is in the description. Number three is OBS Studio, the popular one. Now OBS is probably the only completely free app in this list. It is totally free, but not the best software to get used to. The interface is a bit difficult to navigate and doesn't have the best experience, but it offers you features that many other apps offer only in their paid versions. It lets you add multiple sources like webcam, screen sharing, etc., and lets you do some basic editing and switching on the live stream. You can also connect with the most popular platforms like YouTube and Facebook. You might need to spend some time to get used to it though. There are both Windows and Mac versions. You can download it free from their website. The link is in the description below. Number four is Switchboard. Now, one thing you might have noticed among the apps I just mentioned here is that almost all of them allow you to stream to the most popular platform, like, you know, YouTube, Facebook, etc. But Switchboard is the only platform that lets you stream to probably all the platforms you can think of. Not only the most popular and obvious ones, but also the lesser known ones like this. Who knew there were so many live streaming options out there? I certainly didn't. Check it out, the link is in the description below. Number five is BeLive. Wow, that rhymes. It's one of my personal favorites. BeLive is free with the basic features, but those features are pretty damn good. Let me explain. BeLive lets you host three live streams or shows a month with up to two people or guests on screen. Use five graphic assets like, you know, your logo, overlay and stuff. And it has both iOS and Android mobile app. And the coolest thing is that it lets you highlight your users comments on the screen selectively. That's nice, no? Now, apart from these dedicated live streaming apps, there are the most obvious ones that I haven't mentioned in this video, like Zoom, Facebook, Instagram, Live, etc. I'm assuming that we know them already. But anyways, I'll just share the links of all such apps down in the description so that we don't miss anything, plus some hidden stuff too. Do check it out. So there you have it, guys. Five of the best live streaming apps available in the market today. Live streaming, I believe, is a thing of not just 2020, but beyond as well. And it's likely to catch up. So jump in and start doing it right now. Now, that's an advice I can take myself. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, you know what to do. But if you didn't like it, let me know in the comment sections why I would like to know. This is Mani Karthik signing off.